All right, so let's come up with our new formula for the force on a wire. And in this section, whenever I say a wire, it's implied that it carries a current. If the wire weren't carrying a current, we wouldn't be talking about it. It would just be a piece of metal. So wire always means a current carrying wire. So let's draw and think about our microscopic model of conduction. So here's our wire. It's got a current I. And we are going to go back now to the standard uh, notation where the current is carried by positive charge carriers. And of course, in a metal, it's not. It's carried by negative electrons. But let's just, just to keep the equation simple and keep the negative sign simple, we're going to assume it's positive charge carriers with charge Q, drift velocity, VD. Remember, they all drift down the wire. And remember, we need that number for the density in carriers per unit volume. Remember, that's just the count. That's the number. You have to multiply it by Q to get the charge per unit volume. Okay. So let's start with the standard expression, Fb, for a free charge. It was Q V cross B. Oh, and of course, there is a B field present here. So B field sticking into the board. Doesn't really matter the direction right now. Okay. So now, what we want to do is apply this force to all the charge carriers in a piece of the wire. Okay. So we make the wire a little bit longer, and let's think about a piece of it. If we grab a little cylindrical section of it, like this, cross-sectional area A and length L. Okay. Let's call it a let's call it a big L. Length big L. That's a little volume piece of the wire. Right? So now, let's see if instead of just Q, we can put all the charges in, not just the single charge. So that would be what? Well, we would need to get all the charges inside this volume. So that volume is equal to A times L. Here's your volume. To get the number of carriers, you would multiply that volume times N. N. N is carriers per unit volume. You multiply it times the volume. That's the total number of carriers. And each one of them has a charge Q. So we put a Q here. So instead of just Q for a single charge, it's Q N A L for all the charges. The velocity, they're all moving at VD. And the magnetic field is the same, cross B. So that's how you would represent the force, the total force on the wire for a length L. Okay. Now, let's now think about our microscopic model of charge or of current. We talked about this before. We have an expression for I, and I don't want to get any of the details wrong. Yes, it's N Q V D A. The charge carries per unit volume times their charge times their drift velocity times their area. We thought about that in LS5, I think it was. So what we got to see is that most of that is sitting right here, right? NQA, um, NQA is all right there. So NVD is right there. So we can sort of write this now differently. We can write FB equals I. We can pull the I out. Okay, we pull the I out, that pulls out the N, the Q, the A, and we're actually going to take the magnitude VD out and not make it part of the vector. And we're going to write L as the vector, IL cross B. And that is the force. We have to have that L there to make it come out in Newtons. And we write it this way. It's sort of the same. It came from the exact same equation. We just took, instead of one charge, we did a bunch of charges. But we switched this V and this L so that you can really think about the current. Right? If we didn't have the V in there, it wouldn't be the current. We want to think in terms of the current. That's the macroscopic property we want to think of. But to get a vector, we just have this L. And L is just the size of the piece of wire you're looking at. So this is just the length of the straight wire and the direction. equals the current direction. Okay, so L. 
So that's just a vector. Points along the current has a magnitude equal to the length. Now, not all wires are straight. It's hard to get current to flow in a wire that's straight that doesn't loop back to a circuit, right? So next we'll think about what to do with a curvy wire.